that starches are low in calories. They're very calorie dilute. In other words, when you eat them, you take in a lot of food, it fills the stomach, but just the right amount of calories. Uh, the other second principle is the fat you eat is the fat you wear. This is something that I encourage people to, uh, to keep as a mantra, is whenever they're worried about losing weight, they want to feel better and you know, have the pounds come off. Uh, one of my uh, most favorite mantras to give people is, the fat I eat is the fat I wear. See, the body does the most efficient thing possible with everything you give it. You give it uh, sugar in the form of carbohydrates, and it uses that sugar to run the machinery through a process uh, called glycolysis. It runs the machinery. That's the most efficient thing for the sugar to do. In the food is another source of calories, which is protein. What the body does with the protein is it takes a little bit, it repairs things, builds new things, and then it dumps the excess protein out of the body into the urine. The body does not store protein. If it stored protein, it would store it in the muscles, and we'd all look like Arnold Schwarzenegger used to look like. It does not get stored. The third ingredient that provides calories in food is fat. The body does the most efficient thing possible with fat. It just moves it. It moves it from the fork and spoon to your abdominal fat stores. From my lips to my hips, the fat I eat is the fat I wear. Why would it do anything else? It's, it's the storage dollar for when no food is available. That's what the purpose of fat is, to get you through the tough winter. It stores it uh, so efficiently that it doesn't even change the chemical structure of the fat. I can uh, go up to you to, with a needle, suck some fat out of your abdomen, thigh or buttocks, take it to the laboratory, have it analyzed, and I can tell what kind of fat you like to eat. If your body fat is full of trans fats, then you like Crisco and margarine, other trans fat foods. It just gets stored right in there as trans fat. If you happen to like uh, cold water marine fish and I biopsy you, I'll find omega-3 fats. You like uh, dairy, I'll find C15, C17 fats, characteristic. So the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Just effortlessly moves it in, stores it without any limit at all. You see people who will store a thousand pounds of fat. And when they have to take them to the hospital, they do it with a forklift in a truck. So the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Now, when you eat extra sugar, let me tell you what happens to the extra sugar. Because, you know, you, a lot of you will want to eat. You'll want to eat a lot of food, which I encourage you to do. It's natural to eat. When you're hungry, you're supposed to eat. And you satisfy those sweet tasting taste buds. And your hunger gets satisfied. Well, what if you eat more starch or sugars than you need? What happens to that extra sugar? People are taught <clears throat> that what happens to sugar when you eat it, like rice or table sugar, they're taught what happens to the sugar is the sugar is turned to fat, which then makes you fat. And if that were true, if, say, eating too much rice turned to fat and that made you fat, then we'd see, in the past, several billion obese Asians living on rice. And that's not what we see. What happens to extra sugar when you eat more sugar than, or more calories than sugar than you need, it, uh, sugar is a ring structure, a very stable chemical ring structure, is uh, that ring structure is burnt as uh, heat calories or uh, calories for fidgeting. Uh, that ring structure would be have, to, have to be broken down into a, a chain structure, which is a fatty, fatty acid structure, and that costs lots of calories, and the body doesn't do that. So the human body is very, very, very inefficient at making fat from sugar. You're taught the opposite, but that's not what the scientific truth is. We've known this for 40 years. I've written about it for 40 years, is the body does not efficiently convert sugar into fat. It's too, too wasteful, so it just burns it off.